Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's me again, Abdullah Sabu. And today I have for all of you a technology that will replace your view of money and transactions as a whole. Preferences aside, cryptocurrency is most definitely a major part of the leadings of the future. So I took a course on it, trying to understand its basics, but I will try to give you all something to ponder at and to maybe make you all somewhat excited to look into this. So here, have a seat and let me lead. You surely must be having questions about blockchain. What is it? Is it maybe a chain of blocks? What is Bitcoin? And why haven't I seen any bit of that coin? I'll try to settle that little anxious kid inside of you in just a moment. Whenever we talk about an online transaction between two people, there's almost always an intermediary, maybe a bank, an agency, or a credit card company, which raises a major issue of trust with blockchain, a peer-to-peer -peer connection is ensured based on something called the trust protocol. It means that you trust the code instead of someone you don't know. The genius of the anonymous Satoshi Nakamoto made the code. It's like a public ledger, quite a beautiful code actually. To clear what I mean, it's a platform of declaration. When I transfer something to a person, I announce it to everyone on the platform. So it is witnessed by everyone on the platform and then record it, of course, after being verified. This safety is ensured by something called hashing. You can read up about it. So what actually goes on is that blocks, a block which is a collection of transactions, is chained together with the previous block using its hash, hence the name blockchain. Another food for thought for all of you is that in general, you have a coin because you literally have it. You have it in your possession. But if you have a crypto coin, you only have it if someone has sent it to you. That means that every coin has a transaction history. I could go on and on about it, but because of limitation of time, it's better that I close up here. I've, uh, you can take this course. It's been offered on Coursera by the name Introduction to Blockchain Technology. It's by NCAD University. Or for those of you who, who want to take the specialization, you can take the blockchain revolution specialization. I would ask all of you all though to read up about cryptocurrency and blockchain, even if you don't want to take the course, because sooner or later, you will be witnessing its growth. So I'll take my leave here. Thank you for your attention.